Let's talk about location options in Google Ads, the good, bad, and ugly aspect of it. But first, what is location options in Google Ads and why should you care? So here is what is location options in Google Ads. Let me show you step by step and why should you care? If you're creating any campaign in Google Ads, you have to choose a target location. You have to tell Google where your ads should be showing up. So this is how you create a campaign, new campaign. Let's say you select the sales option, go with defaults for now. Let's say a search campaign, go with the defaults for now. Leave the campaign name, name to default. There was, so let's start a new campaign. It says choose your bid strategy, leave it default. Now we come to this location option part. Okay, so by default, Google says that show your ads to all countries and territories. Obviously, you're not going to do that unless you are, I don't know, a universal business like uh, Apple. You want to sell your iPhones all over the world. Anyways, jokes apart. So for a particular business that you are running ads for, you might want to select a particular country. It can be country, it can be a region, it can be a city, zip code, whatever. Zip code? I don't know if zip code is possible or not. No, probably not. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get back to it. So you want to set up a particular location where you want to show your ads. So let's say, in my case, I want to sell my Google Ads courses in India. So I select India as my target location. Now, like most new users to Google Ads, they will probably set India and forget that, okay, their ads are showing in India and they will skip over, move over. But if you are a little bit not at the first timer, or you pay attention to details, you might look at location options. It's 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 not like, it's not telling you that, hey, because you selected India does not necessarily mean that your ads will be shown in India and therefore you should look at loca locations options too. But let's say, you know, you, you are a selective, uh, not selective, you are a user who cares about, attention, pays attention to details and therefore you decided to look at location options. And there you see two options here, presence or interest and presence. The first one is obviously recommended. The second one is not recommended because it's not, it does not say recommended. Now, this is location options in Google ad. Clear? Like, you know, your ads can be shown to a particular location that you can choose. And for that location, you have two options, whether to show your ads to presence or interest or presence. Let's also understand the difference between the two. Presence or interest means that, you read the definition, people in, regularly in, or who have shown interest in your targeted location. So for example, if I am selling my courses in India, it can show my ad, my ads to people who are regularly in India, are in India, regularly in India, or who have shown interest in my targeted location, which is India. So I could be showing my, if I choose the default option, I could be showing my ads to people sitting across India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, US, UK, Europe, everywhere. Because if, and, and to those who are searching for a Google Ads course in India, if this happened to search, so they they can either be in India, they can regularly be in India or they have shown interest in India with respect to my product or service that I'm selling. So if I choose the first option, I'm not just showing my ads to people in India, physically in India, but anywhere else if they're interested in a course in, in Google Ads course that I'm going to sell and they are looking at India-specific Google Ads course. So th this can be part of their search query. This can be a VPN setting, whatever. So this is the first option. Now, the second option says that, let's say I don't want to show my course ads to people outside India. In that case, I'm going to choose the presence option that says people in or reg regularly in your target location. So they are either physically in India or they are frequently in India, regularly in India, and they will see my ad. Right now, so far, I hope what are location options is clear to you. You have two options to your with respect to your target location, presence or interest or presence. The first one is recommended, and that's where the that's where the need for this video came up. All right. 
So we have understood what are location options. Now let's talk about the good, bad, and ugly part of it, aspect of it. First, the good part. All right. So there would be certain types of businesses that would need this presence or interest, the recommended option by Google as their location option in Google Ads campaign. Mm -hmm. Who are these type of businesses? So for example, there is a, let's say, there is a hotel in Delhi that caters to tourists from anywhere, right? Obviously, hotels can, you know, have guests from anywhere, right? So that hotel cannot show their ads just by saying that I want people to check into my hotel only when they are physically in India. No, people might be sitting across in US, UK, Canada, anywhere. And they might want to visit Delhi and therefore they are searching for a hotel in Delhi. In that case, this hotel which is showing their ads can choose this option and benefit from it. This is the good part that, hey, if you want a hotel, if you want to book a hotel in Delhi, you know, my ad location is set to India. It could be even worldwide, but even if it is set to India, anywhere, anybody sitting anywhere across the world looking for a hotel in Delhi, India would be able to see their ads. Great, good option for hotels. Some other examples like for real estate, like there is a property in Delhi that somebody wants to buy, a, let's say house in Delhi. That person could be sitting anywhere across in India or anywhere in the world. And if they are looking for an apartment to buy in Delhi, they can see this ad, even if the ad targeted only Delhi and set this option as presence or interest. Good part. But is this the ideal option for every type of business or the majority of the businesses on Google, advertising on Google? Should this therefore be the recommended option? That is the bad part. I don't think that's the case. The hotels, the real estate, uh, the, you know, there was a, I posted on LinkedIn and asked this question and somebody recommend, said saying that, you know, the limousine service in New York, for example, could use this option. And somebody also said, um, real estate, somebody also quoted some other examples and there might be like, you know, 5 to 10% of the type of businesses who might benefit from this, this option, the default and recommended option in Google Ads, location option in Google Ads saying that if you leave this option, this is going to serve your business well. But what about the retail businesses, DTC brands, for example? The DTC brands, if they're not shipping worldwide, would they benefit from it? This is actually counterproductive for them. Because if I have my shipping arrangements for only in India and I'm a DTC brand, then I should not have this default option selected. And I would not know this default option unless I you know, pay attention and care about what are the location options that I'm leaving my campaign with. And if I leave this default option, I'm going to spend my money showing ads to people outside India as well. And that will be a waste of my advertising budget, advertising money, right? So Google, by leaving this option as default and recommended and keeping it under the wraps, this is not a good business practice in my opinion this is the bad part of the location options it should not be the default option people should be forced to choose one of these options depending on their context their business context right so that they are not unknowingly wasting their money outside of their target location that is the bad part clear not every bit business and in my opinion given my experience in google ads over last 15 years I believe that 90, more than 90% of the businesses would not use this option. The 10% that use this option, that is the good option for them. Okay. Now, let's talk about the ugly part of it. The ugly aspect of this location option in Google Ads. The ugly aspect is that fine Google is, you know, has made this tweak and they are recommending this as the default option not just recommending like they're they have made this the default option they have kept it under the wraps and they have even if somebody was to read they would say it's recommended like most advertisers would go with this right even the even the google reps can say that hey 
This is the recommended option. Therefore, you should do it. Now, the ugly part, the ugly part of Google Ads location options is when a Google rep or account manager reaches out to you saying that, hey, you know what? I dug into your campaigns and I figured that over the last 12 months, you have spent X amount of money showing your ads outside your target location. That is the ugly part, right? Because one, Google is not saying that this is not the recommended option, but the account manager from Google is saying that, hey, you're wasting money, by the way. <laughs> so now, how do you get get around this? How do you how do you uh, how do you balance it out? How do you prevent, protect yourself from from this location option in Google Ads? So here is a simple trick for you. And if you're running Google Ads, uh, whatever amount of money you might be spending, and whether you are a DTC brand or a B two B business or a uh, you know or a freelancer employee or a business owner whoever you are if you're in charge of running google ads i want you to stop everything that you're doing and run this one report in google ads and see for yourself whether or not you are wasting money on google ads showing ads outside of your target target locations okay go to google ads uh, interface log into your account go to campaigns tab and then go to this reports button and generate a performance summary report for campaign level, campaign performance. Once you do this, you're going to get this, say, okay. This is the default report, by the way. So you're going to do this and look for the location option here, search location. You're going to get user location. So user location can be country specific, city specific, region specific, whatever is the target location that you have. Let's say in this case, it is country. So user location, country, I'm going to select city, region, metro, country, user location. So I add this to the report and look what happens. The most campaigns have user locations, which are, and they are showing ads. The user location of those campaigns and the clicks that have come from are actually from the target location. So US, 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 US. But some campaigns have clicks coming from outside of their target location, country. So Mexico, Brazil, Canada, Costa Rica, Colombia, Philippines, Australia, Puerto Rico. You know why this happened? This happened because of that option, location option in Google Ads, which said people in or uh, have interest in your target location. So for this account, the campaign might be targeting US as a target country, but because the default option and the recommended option by Google Ads was left selected, the location option was left selected, this campaign went on to show ads outside of US, which is Mexico, Brazil, Canada, Costa Rica, Colombia, Philippines, Australia, and so on and so forth. This is, this is the report that, that can reveal whether or not your campaigns are showing ads outside your target location. And you should do this. You should run this one report and find out for yourself if you are showing ads beyond your target location and you are wasting money on Google ads. Go ahead and do it. And then look into the specific campaign and set the location to physically like presence. Right? The option that we talked about. Set your location option to presence and prevent your ads from showing outside your target location. I hope this is helpful. If you need help with Google Ads, you can always reach out to us, get a free audit, free action plan, and get started with us. Otherwise, just walk away with this value add video and you know, have a lovely day ahead. Cheers.